The daughter of a Signal Mountain man convicted of planning an attack on a Muslim community says her father was a good man. Last week, a jury convicted Robert Doggart on all four counts for his role in the terrorist plot. Doggart's daughter spoke exclusively with News Channel 9 today. She says she saw no signs that her father was planning a terror attack. Allison Levine picks us, or joins us now live with the story. Allison. Calvin Christie Atkins testified on behalf of her father, Robert Darger, in his federal trial two weeks ago. Today, she spoke with me about the man she grew up with and how she didn't see this coming. Dad was always a jokester. He was lots of fun. As the eldest of Robert Doggart's four daughters, Christy Atkins says she had a normal childhood on Signal Mountain. It was just, it was a great growing up. Anchored by an involved. He was always there. Loving. He did a lot for other people. And supportive father. He worked very hard when I was growing up. We always, I never was worried about a meal or clothes or anything. We were always well cared for. But that loving and benevolent man Christy described is no longer how the world views Robert Doggart. Who thought of himself as powerful, with his tentacles reaching out all over to armed people who decided to join him in plotting to attack Islamburg. When Christie heard about his arrest... Well, naturally, I was shocked. <laughs> in all of their conversations, Christie says he never mentioned anything about plans to burn down a mosque in Islamburg, New York. I know he was always concerned about terrorism since 9-11. You know, that was a concern, but no, it never came up. And his behavior in the months leading up to his arrest? It was just like clockwork, like normal. Christie sat through days of her father's trial. She says the jury's long deliberation was the most difficult time. That was uh, three days of um, anxiety. But then the loving and nurturing father Christie says she grew up with convicted on all four counts. It was just shock, just completely. And just con continuing to hear four different uh, verdicts, it was, it was very, very hard. Today, Christy told me that she does sympathize with the residents of Islamburg, but is focusing on trying to get her family through this difficult time. Calvin, Christy, or er, residents of Islamburg and Muslims of America are now lobbying Congress to amend domestic terrorism laws they feel Robert Doggart violated. Back to you. Thanks, Allison. Robert Doggart's sentencing hearing is scheduled for May 31st. He faces a maximum penalty of up to 10 years in prison for each of the four counts.